I have just completed the GRC Mastery course by Unix Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about it. Honestly, it was one of the best cybersecurity training courses I have ever taken. It was interesting, engaging, there was lots of questions and practical assessments along the way, packed with knowledge in so many different areas. I honestly think, looking at the course structure, it gives you a good insight and overview of so many different areas within cybersecurity because you need to understand a lot of these topics at least at a conceptual level to be a good cybersecurity professional. Arbed Unix guy does a great job of teaching you that. Now you might be thinking what do I need to get started in this course? Is there a certain level of knowledge I need to have? Do I already need to be working in the industry? The answer is no. The course is designed for absolute beginners. There are no prerequisites. You don't need to know anything going into the course. You can just start the course as a non-technical person and as you're exposed to more of the content you'll gradually begin to understand different areas and things start to come together. It teaches on every area that you need to know for being a GRC professional. You might find these items or topics that are covered might be looked at in a different way called something else or possibly have a different control reference number. But generally, these are the basic things that GRC professionals work with and over again and again and again. So having this really gives you a strong foundation for a lot of the knowledge you're going to need as a security professional. One of the things I think that makes this course just so great is the course creator, Arbed actually has 20 years of experience in cybersecurity as he's going through a topic and teaching you about it. Not only does he tell you the theory and the conceptual cybersecurity stuff you need to know and understand, but he also like brings it back into like real life examples, things he's dealt with, funny little stories along the way of experiences he's had with certain things. And I think this really sets it apart because you can tell it's designed by someone who knows the industry inside out and has worked and is still working in the industry. So learning the theory and the practical steps and also learning from his experience gives you practical skills that you need to work in the world of GRC. Now the videos aren't long and boring either. They're quite short and condensed and they've got a lot of information. I do recommend you watch them twice because sometimes things might go over your head. What I like to do is watch it once without taking any notes, then watch it again the second time, taking notes and listening a bit more more carefully. The first time giving you an overview and an understanding of the content and the second time kind of diving deep into the nuance of some things that were mentioned. But I will say is do not rush the training. Although the videos may be short, although the practical assessments could be done quickly if you was rushing, I always say with any training or any skills you're trying to learn within cybersecurity, it's important to take your time and really digest the content because that is what the real value is here. The real value is not in having a certificate at the end of the course. The value is in spending time learning, understanding, thinking about and digesting the content within the course itself. Like any course, this all applies the same way. So as you go through each module, the course structure is designed in a very specific way. It begins with introducing you to GRC, some basic definitions, some stuff you need to know for the course. You then move on to cyber security risk management, understanding what risk management is, the risk assessment process, and everything else you need to know within that area. You then move on to cybersecurity audit, and this is where there's a breakdown between the different types of audits that can happen, an explanation on the process, how it works, and then module four moves on to asset management, which again is fundamental within cybersecurity and explains the importance of asset management, what can happen when it goes wrong, and why it's so vital and underpins a lot of the next topics in this course. Then you get onto module five, identity and access management, very fundamental and again is a whole deep topic within itself. I mean you could spend a career just within this area but Arbid does a great job of just teaching you the fundamentals, the bits that you need to know to work within GRC. We then move on to security education and awareness, a very important topic and often falls within the responsibility or the realm of GRC or sometimes you just have to check that it's been 
done but again Arbit does a great job of giving you an overview of what you need to know in that space now I'd say the next few modules is where it got really interesting for me personally because you start diving a little bit deeper and getting a little more complex and talking about data security data loss prevention once you've covered that you talk about cyber security detection incident response it's got some great funny examples of some scenarios in here so make sure to check them out and module 9 is third party risk management which again is just a whole other area within itself you could make a career out of this but it's fundamental and you will need to know it as a GRC professional and then lastly you've got penetration test and vulnerability management of course this isn't a pen testing or vulnerability management course but it teaches you what you need to know in relation to these areas to work within GRC and also it's important to say that at each module there are questions there are practical activities that you can do and there's a story that happens in the background about an invented company and that kind of builds throughout the course I don't want to ruin that surprise or story for you but it's quite interesting especially if you're a Marvel fan and once you've done all that you've gone through the modules you've understood the topics you've got the big capstone project. The capstone project is essentially where you have a full company to review and you're doing it against the NIST framework. All of these copies and resources are obviously provided to you within the course. You just downloadable link and you have to conduct a cybersecurity assessment against a company. And what Arbid's done is he's created all the items to replicate or represent what a company would do, what they would say, how they would behave in that scenario and the information they would give you. And it's your job to work through the NIST framework and give them an assessment. And then he then has his own assessments, which is a great fun activity. This really sets it apart because it's fun, it's interactive, it's practical. You have to think, you have to apply the skills you've learned. And just as a complete bonus at the very end, he's got so many tips about getting hired as a GRC professional there's a CV template in there and a bunch of other things to help you out. So not only does he teach you the skills necessary and required, but he also throws in a lot of resources, advice and videos to help you get hired within the industry. The thing with the Capstone project is once you've gone through and you've been able to use the NIST framework to conduct this security assessment, these skills are transferable to other frameworks such as ISO 27001, PCI DSS and many others. That skill of understanding frameworks is one of the most crucial things you need to have as a GRC professional. So finishing with this capstone project honestly just teaches you so much valuable skills that you will use. And when it comes to the price, another great thing is it's actually affordable, it's reasonably priced and it's a great course. So yeah, I definitely learned a lot doing the course. It was such a good, fun and practical experience. I highly recommend anybody go and do the course, try it out. If you're interested in GRC, all you need to do is go to grcmastery.com. That's grcmastery, one word, dot com and sign up today. I will also link it below in the description and in the comment section. So check it out. So yeah, great course. I am now GRC Mastery certified. I've popped it on my LinkedIn and it's going on my CV too. Having this is a badge of honor and hopefully you can all join me in completing this course and learning from someone in the industry with a fountain of experience. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye -bye.